foam concentrate flush. Uh, this uh, container here uh, depicts a uh, foam concentrate tank on a, on a rig or fire boat or, or whatever. Uh, we poured as much of it as we could out. And as you can see, there's some dregs still on the bottom. So what I'm going to try and do is flush that. And uh, we'll see what happens here. We're going to fill the tank with water. some debris in there and as you can see the uh, the material at the bottom of the tank is not dissolving that would be the alcohol resistant polymer we know it is xanthan x-a-n-t-h-a-n gum uh, that's the alcohol resistant uh, component in it alcohol resistant foam this particular one happens to be from a uh, FDNY fireboat, uh, the, uh, the Fian. Uh, they sent me some foam concentrate to test for its fitness. Uh, so when I was done with it, I just put it in stock. So what we're looking here is at the, uh, the Fian's universal gold uh, in, uh, in the foam tank that's now filled with water. So the only really way to get this thing uh, dissolved is... Uh, by way of uh, like a, a paintbrush stirrer or whatever to stir this up for a good five minutes uh, without making froth and it'll uh, it'll come out pretty clean uh, after a stir. Uh, the warmer the water the better. We're sitting here at uh, 60 degrees I say uh, in my shop but uh, at this point in time uh, the uh, the foam tank or the material in the tank stuff that's stuck to the tank walls seems to be dissolving uh, but the mass that's on the bottom is not likely to dissolve that's likely to be there until uh, you use your transfer pump uh, to uh, to circulate uh, the uh, the water that's in this tank and I'm gonna say a, a half hour of circulation should uh, get everything dissolved and everything in suspension in water and then you uh, can drain it and uh, you should be good to go. If it were me, I'd do it twice, uh, but if you have to incinerate your flush water, that might get expensive. So uh, we'll just be guided by what you're seeing here. So I'll just take a paint stirrer and start swirling this around. Your transfer pump should uh, with a hose at the bottom and a hose about a foot down from the top. I should get this material circulating. And after uh, probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes, you should be really good and clean. Again, the temperature of the water, uh, the warmer the temperature, the better. So uh, it's real important that we get this water circulating uh, in order to dissolve the dregs uh, that are in the bottom of your foam tank. And as you can see, that's starting to dissolve now.